in there for the passengers with Greg Thornton as we move on to the Bridgestone BMW Car Club Racing Series. Nice field of cars coming at you, nearly 30 of them going out to battle. And uh, you can see there's going to be some fun and games here in the, right at the start of the new season for this category. Couple of new drivers coming back and a couple of returning drivers as well. And as they make their way out into the track for the very first time in 2020, expect some big battles in the five classes that run in this category. As the lights go out here, we're head down towards turn number one, and it's a fantastic start in the background. Watch out for Sab Guterri starting to come through there. That is last year's champion, Andreas Mayer. Had some problems in the first heat now, and will definitely be looking to change things up now as they go down into turn two. And opportunities there, already opening up for a couple of the cars. Diving through and looking for chances. Gearing goes through as he moves through there in that 325 IS of his. Getting through on Cochrane and Smith at the front end, though. Got Terry's at the front, and looks like... Lorero is having a little bit of problems of his own, trying to find a way to the front end of Class A. And you can see it's not going to be an easy day in the saddle with Sav already putting pressure on himself as he runs wide. He gets out of shape and onto the dirty stuff, comes across and cuts off Dino Familiaris. Familiaris very lucky to avoid the returning car there of Sav Guterri. And there's a move from Devin Robinson. We mentioned drivers coming back into the series. Robinson, oh, backing it up into the series and backing himself as he comes out of GNA's transport corner. He just got out of shape and pulls the big boss auto BMW off the circuit just in time to avoid some of the cars coming through there. Very lucky there from the young man to catch that car. Lorero now putting the pressure onto the back end and looking for a chance to get into the lead. He wants this victory. Kateri is going to make him work hard for it. There is no doubt about it. This is going to be some of the best action all day. Cottrell in the 235. Brand new car for him for Petroleum Motors, his sponsor. And in the background, you can see them starting to line up here thick and fast. Triple two is Clippy's Cricker. Stepping out of his Lotus now into BMW Car Club Racing Series full-time. Full-time pressure coming onto the champion there. Andreas Maas soaking it up. And it's uh, Everstein all over the back. Oh, Garbini out of shape. The coffee man has got it slightly out of shape coming on the exit point of turn four. And he hits the tire barrier. And Carlo Gobini might be in problems. There's problems at the top of the hill as well. That's not the way you want to be ending off your day, that is for sure. And it's certainly not the way you want to be finishing in a BMW Car Club Racing Series machine. Devin Robinson's already had problems of his own. He looks like he's pulled into pit lane, but the pressure's on at the front as Lorero starts to put the pressure onto the back end of Sav Guterri. Class A in the mix and down into turn two they go. Rick is looking dangerous. Can he find a way past? Or is that Royal Purple and Sav Speed BMW going to keep out the man and hopefully take the victory. There's a move from Andreas Maas sneaking through there on Bernard Gavea and Estrella. George Estrella's on his tail, recovered after the spin at the top of the hill. So not a bad day there for him. He has a car with a bit of history on the tail end of Alan Hillegen. That is Paolo Cavalieri piloting the K80 States BMW from uh, the Campos Racing Stable. Great to have Paolo out there doing a little bit of uh, a swan song there for his brother. Change up for the lead. Lorero has hit the front now. Great move there from Rick just caught out Sav and it's perfect timing as well because it's towards the chicken flag Sav pushing hard puts the wheel on the dirt can he hang on no he can't he cannot find a way past back ahead of Lorero and Lorero is going to take the win what a drive there from Rick perfect timing as I said beating out Sav Guterri and Dina Familiaris for the win in class A a super effort from Andreas Mayer he comes up to take class B's ahead of Everstein and Baggioni and Gobini recovered for the fourth place down in Class C, it was Lumprecht and Gearing beating out Troy Cochran. Hilligen takes Class D and Fancel takes Class E. Let's catch up now with Sav Guterri. Uh, Rick drove an awesome race. Um, we had him till the last three corners and then I uh, just couldn't do it on the brakes anymore. And uh, yeah, he got me up top there and that was it. But uh, he deserved it. He did very well. And we did well as a team today also. We, I think we got a first overall, which was great. And uh, we're looking forward to the next one, definitely.